we are here on Haleakala, and we're thinking about the question, how did the Hawaiian Islands form? I'm Dr. Brian Thomas from the Institute for Creation Research, and we are here on Haleakala, the big mountain on Maui. And we're thinking about the question, how did the Hawaiian Islands form? There is a lot of molten material that came up from great depth. It went all the way through the ocean and even pierced the sky. And here we are at about 10,000 feet above sea level. And so how did these islands form? Well, if you look at the standard textbook answers or guidebooks uh, when you visit Hawaii, they say things like the westernmost island of Kauai formed about four and a half million years ago, and then about a million years elapsed in between the formation of each of these islands as the Pacific plate slowly crept along continental creep, something like that. Uh, well, there's three reasons why we really doubt the timing of the story. Certainly, magma and, and molten material did come up really high up <laughs> from great depth but uh, we think it happened fast and there's uh, a couple geologic reasons why we think that's the case and the first has to do with the lava rock which i'm standing on here uh, plenty of lava rock um, and and actually lava rock is an igneous type of rock so there are certain um, isotopes that make up the rock material and isotopes are versions of an atom and some of them are radioactive so radioisotope decay happens in these rocks and you can use that decay as a kind of a clock. And it turns out that the Hawaiian island uh, lavas, some of them we can use to actually test radioisotope decay methods. Now these are the methods that give sort of the millions of years idea. Well, if radioisotope says that this is millions of years old, how can we possibly doubt it? Here's why. Because we have lava rocks of known age that the isotope systems give the wrong age for. So you can use the iso radioisotopes to, and they typically give an age of a million to 20 million years for a rock that's something like 200 years old based on eyewitness accounts of people who were there and saw it. So radioisotope dating doesn't work, not worried about that. Let's look for a different method to date the islands or to at least give age estimates. One way is to look at cliffs and lava tubes. All the islands, even the westernmost one, the oldest one, Kauai, uh, has lava tubes and sharp-edged cliffs. Well, sharp-edged cliffs erode, and they should have eroded and rounded off if even hundreds of thousands of years had elapsed, but they're still sharp-edged. Lava tubes should have collapsed, but they're still tubes. They're still round, uh, showing that they're very young. So these young, youthful features convince us that Hawaii looks a lot younger than millions of years. The third feature that looks young is actually the measured erosion rate on the Hawaiian Islands. And it's five inches a year. So today, that's slow, but even at that rate, you should have leveled. Hawaii should be sea level. And so we know that the Hawaiian Islands are eroding and they're going da back down into the Pacific. But why haven't they done that yet? Well, we think it's because they're still very young. So Hawaii looks young, Hawaii looks freshly made. And so these are the reasons why we think that the Bible got it right, that the world is uh, much younger, uh, thousands, not millions, and that the world was flooded. The flood overturned the earth. And so uh, during the flood, we think the Hawaiian islands formed late in the flood, while the plate was moving not at fingernail growth speed, but uh, much, much faster. A violent past from a violent Noah's flood explains the Hawaiian islands.